Hello, YouTube. My name is Yamakar, and I'll be your skipper for episode 7 of my Pasta Mega Base series. In this episode, we fix the belts here that are backwards. Thanks to everyone in the comments for pointing that one out to me. And uh, I think we try and get a bit more copper, because it looks like it's not keeping up anymore. It's looking pretty sad down there. A little bit sad. Let's go fix the copper. What can we do to get some more copper? Uh, looks like we just get more smelting. Let me do that. Put you there, put you there, put something like that. A little bit extra. Um, I think this line is going to eventually have too much on it, so we're going to actually pull a secondary line now. It's a slow line, but we just need to get to the other side of the factory. So we're going to join this in after a section gets pulled off. Do, do, do. So, we are right here with this. I think we run it up this way. Get you to here. Right there. Um, I'd like it to be right after the green chips. Or on that splitter over there. That would be ideal location. That would be ideal. Um, can we run it down? I think we can. I think we can make this work. I think we can go right through here. I think we can do this. Based on how I set it up. And then we'll uh, dump some more furnaces down. Bots need to be soon at this point. We're kind of slacking on getting our bots up and running. I'm going to grab some brick here quickly. Make some furnaces while we're just kind of hanging out. Grab some steel. A little bit more. Make some pocket furnaces. Uh, the steel. Where are you hiding? Pretty sure there's a chest of steel, but looks like we just don't have enough, period. The chest is right down there. I'm going to disconnect that for a second. We're going to come back. I'll probably forget about that, and then we'll be good to go. So you're going to come here. Like that. So we want to be right down there somehow. <clears throat> uh, that's not doing anything anymore, so that can go away. Do, do, do. We need some red belts. The red underground or two. That is the answer here right now. And we'll grab some stone while we're over here. Normally I have my stone processing where everything else is processing down in that part of the factory. But uh, this factory does not have that. So. We'll have to do some different strategies here. Uh, also looks like I have no inserters on me right now. Just have nine there. Put that on the hot bar so we can see what's what. Okay, so that's good. That's good. And we have our copper right here, but we need it down there. So put that there. You can go here. Actually, I think it'd be better here. Pick that back up. Looks like I can join it better. So we do want it to bypass this here. That way the other items have a chance to get copper at the same time. Just put up there and that goes to there. Just like that. Okay, and now we do have the new uh, furnaces coming. And we can just smelt some more copper. Perfect. But, in other news, we do have our first train station up and running, so we are going to name one of our stations after one of our patrons. So I'd like to say thank you for supporting the channel. It means a lot to me. And as I add more stations, we will add more people's names. So we got Stan and a P for Patreon. So there you go. Stan. Not automated yet, but almost. Almost. That will definitely be automated. I hope. Better be. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we need more of this down here. Looks like actually almost we're using all the copper we're using all our raw copper it looks like it's not enough anymore <clears throat> it's just yeah all of it is being used so i guess we're gonna have to copper train soon we can do that 
You go to there, you go there. We're hungry. This factory is definitely ramping up quickly, which is super awesome. So hopefully that'll be a full line. I think we have majority of this node mine now. Hmm. Hmm. Can't pick that up. Too much clutter. Put you there, you there. It'd be nice to be able to pick this up here too, but... What do we all got in our pockets here? How much of this? I can dump this into some buildings. Looks like I might need to actually upgrade this at some point. We do have undergrounds, but I feel like that's kind of a waste of an underground. So we'll just make this here. Grab you. That can go there. Can go pick up these here too. You. Really was no point in turning that there, but it made me feel good about myself. Uh, then we have one right here, kind of right in the corner. I think we can make this work. Definitely doesn't need a red belt, though. Okay. So that is almost the entire node there now. I could put maybe one more here. Right there. I'll pick up one of these dead iron ones. Deceased. It is no longer working. Okay. Belt. Sliding on belts. Just like the snow we have up in Canada right now. Sliding around. Okay, so copper's looking great. <clears throat> copper is looking great. So we're gonna 360 this belt around up top here. Put this there. And upgrade these ones like that. You go there. I'll just kind of gently run this belt around. Leave a little bit of space on the end in case we want to add more stuff to it later. But that should work, I think. This splitter doesn't really do anything anymore. But that's fine. You want to be upgraded. But I don't have it. I do have belts, but I think that's fine. So the raw copper ore is now backing up. It is actually backing up. So this goes here. You go here. Grab this again. We're definitely going to need a copper train. Uh, so that's done there. Oh, do we have yellow science automated? I don't even remember. It's been like a day since I played. Uh, power armor wouldn't be bad either, but bots, bots. It's actually upgrading the bots. Um, what else do we even need for the rocket silo right now? We just need this, just that, just the rocket control unit. And I'm pretty positive we do not have an automated. That's actually rocket fuel too. Flammables into rocket fuel. Then we're good to go. Almost. Not quite. Okay. Not quite. Super close. I'm gonna put this there. It's a good way of emptying items out of your inventory. It'd be better to drop it on the belt somewhere, but... Oops. This building will try and offload all 100 of them. And now it's not wasted in my pocket. Rocket fuel. Okay, so let's go check out our science and see what we're missing. So we did make slow, slow engines over here. <clears throat> These guys, actually quite a bit of them. That's a nice supply right there. That's a good supply. That is looking good. And then we have our uh, flying robot frames right here. 
And we have two of the items. Not all of the items, just two of them. Let's make some more inserters and go off of that. Snag a bunch of this. I picked up all that stuff and I can't make any gears. Really should automate this. But it's not too bad handcrafting if you have all of the parts in your inventory. It's just a craft, which just doesn't feel bad. If you're crafting all the gears or like the assemblers, then it starts, or the inserters, it starts to feel bad. That's my experience with handcrafting. I'm going to grab some of those and we're going to make some better assemblers now. Speaking of assemblers. It's missing some steel. Steel's not looking good either right now. And we do have a backup of iron. So probably upgrade all those furnaces right now. Just to get the steel up and running. Everything else is kind of backing up on me, which is fine as well. <clears throat> it's a good use of our time. Got some laser turrets, which is kind of nice to see. The copper is looking okay. We do have two inputs now. So it's kind of stealing quite a bit from one side. And that's fine with me. I think we're not pulling the iron properly anymore. That's why we're seeing this big... backup of raw iron ore here. But each one of those I add is like doubling my steel production there. This is what we need the bots for. To place this down automatically. So nice. So nice once you get them up and running to ramp things up. I don't even have any inserters on me. No inserters. I am not. Uh, I guess I'll handcraft a few. I don't really want to, but. Actually, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I abort. Abort! Craftsman inserters will go back down there. Um, we even had them on the bar there, and I just didn't notice when I went down. Classic mistake. That's where bots would have fixed that problem. And we can actually make bots. Uh, that might be worth my while at this point. Steel, we did stop too, so I should have a chest to steal. Oh, wow, okay. Steel's okay. Steel's a-okay. You can go back there. I forget I said anything bad about you. Uh, got some red chips. We'll make a few more of these and get the bots actually up and running now. Then we need some passive provider chests. Iron gears. This will be great. This will be great. And then we need a few bots. How many bots do we want? More, I guess, is better. We have to handcraft everything because we... Well, not everything, but quite a bit of it. So this is good, this is good, this is good. And then passive provider chests. A couple storage chests. And quite a few of those. Kind of throw everything on the passive provider line there. <clears throat> Make a few of those. Okay, this is good, this is good. This is very promising. So I can go there. Then we can start building. Okay, so we'll place the first RoboPort right here. Why not? Sure, why not? Start trying to connect the whole factory. Connect the dots. You go there. I can put one down here, I guess. Can't really build here anyways, so. I feel like it's kind of close to the other RoboPort, but. Kind of central in the factory, so it'll be a good charging area. <laughs> I don't mind having them too close to each other at the middle. They all just kind of work together in unison there, so it's not 
Not really too problematic, but... Go there. What kind of a nice network now. Put it there or down here. Do, do, do. So that is all of them. Do I have any bots made? No, not a single bot has been made yet. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Don't panic. Don't panic. Nobody panic. Bots are coming. Then we'll make all our passive provider chests and it will be great. So, you to you to you to you. There's way too many power lines, but that's okay. Power lines are cheap to make. Something like that. And now we're missing steel and green chips. These assemblers are so slow. And then we'll offload long, I guess. Mm -mm. I definitely don't need that many. So we have steel right here. And we have green chips down here somewhere. There's just steel there, but... Oh, actually, that's not... Yeah, it's steel. It's not a very good supply of steel, though. It's being kind of decimated. But we need to grab some belts. I feel the belts are in a really bad spot in this factory. Some factories, I don't feel like they're in a bad spot, but this one... Not a good spot. Not a good spot. So we can't do this yet. We're close. We're super close. We'll make our bots. That's actually logistics robots. That's a good one too. Send those guys home. We don't have any chests yet, so can't really do much with that. I'll stop crafting bots. We'll wait till we get some of these. So we're offloading here and we're loading here. I left a triple space, which is for the beacons. <laughs> so, we want steel. So we're gonna use this to pull the steel. And then we'll grab our green chips. That's only gonna be half the belt there. Uh, we'll grab them from Hmm. I almost feel like I should just make green chips again on demand. Make some green chips over here, I think. This current supply is no, no good. No good. No good. What did we end up doing down there? We just pretty much hit a one-to-one. -one. Gave up with ratios. It's too hard. Can't count. Just make more. Just make more. I think I can fit that there. It's gonna be tight, but we'll see. We shall see. So I need to grab and insert. Yeah, I don't think I can fit one here. Unless I'm gonna do something really wonky with it. So, grabbing and offloading. This one here is a bit different. So, the steel is going here. Green chips are going right into there. You as well are going to be a green chip. This is my iron. This is why we wanted the train tracks here already. I already feel like I'm going to get run over. Uh, and this is iron again. This is totally unnecessary, but use every space. <laughs> Why? Because the map is unlimited. Uh, I got iron right there. You're like, wait, that makes no sense. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So now we got the iron in here. So that is good. They're making green chips for me. These green chips can go right into there. And you're making these flying robot frames now. <clears throat> okay. 
So we got the flying robot frames, and we have blue chips being produced down here. Very... Uh, there's 200 there. That's not bad, actually. 200 is acceptable. And we'll make our stuff over here. We're actually being attacked right now, and I didn't realize. Hmm. That's not ideal. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely not ideal. <laughs> Uh, I can't get down fast enough. Stop! I hear you! I'm sorry! <clears throat> this is what happens when you don't defend your factory properly. Do, do, do. What'd you all kill? Ah, uh, just furnaces so far. That's not bad. I don't kill that. We're happy. Easy. Um, so we are missing a bunch of stuff right now. So what we do here is we drop this and I look at what they killed They killed some of that. So have some inserters have some more inserters uh, Some belts have some of that that Furnaces, I don't actually have any furnaces to give you Power lines So the only thing we're missing now is just some furnaces and a red belt or two <clears throat> And a bot will fix it your problem now. Good luck. So, in order to make some more furnaces, I need to get some stone. So, we're missing furnaces. Uh, we're missing undergrounds as well. But that can be easily fixed by doing this. So, this is part of the logistics network. Uh, what else are we missing here? Laser turrets. It's not connected. That's okay. Put you there. Not super huge fan that that opens up the chest again. Or it only opened the chest up because... It only opened the chest up because it was actually full. Mm -mm. Some storage chests in here too. Actually, I don't like that storage chest spot. I'll put them over here. I'll kind of remember it a bit better. So that's okay. We're just missing uh, furnaces, I think, right now. Maybe some repair packs. You want some repair packs? There. Happy bot. Happy life. Should also build a radar down there. Logistics robots is finished. That is nice. That is nice. Uh, do we really want this right now? I think we'll just do worker robot betterness. Much better worker robots. That can fix my exploded factory faster. So that's the only thing I don't want to lose there. That blue chest. I would actually kind of cry. There would be tears on stream. Virtual tears. I kind of walked over this. Train track, half expecting to get run over. Uh, okay, so we got yellow. I gave them all of my red inserters. So now we definitely want to automate red inserters at this point in my life. So this should be building. Yep, it's building. That's good. I'm going to steal all of them and build robots with them for the first ones. Maybe even some logistics bots. In my Bob's and Angels series, it took me... Mm, 50 episodes before I gave in and made bots. You could probably make them around 20 hours or so. I decided to hold out on the bots. Why? Because I don't like myself, apparently. I like to do things the hard way. Because we got low density right here. And blue chips. So I think what I do is I do that with low density, and then I just get the blue chips to just kind of join in on the side there. <laughs> Again, not buildings I choose to lose. I'm fine not defending some parts of my factory, but some parts are more annoying to rebuild. The oil is another part that I really don't want to have to rebuild. 
So that's not connected yet. That's okay. I don't have any inserters. So we did need stone. Stone, stone. And what else do we need for more of these? Just need more steel again. Steel's still pretty bad. Uh, oil actually is okay right now. It's kind of defended. Let's kind of hide some of these in there. It's not big attacks right now, so it's fine. Just a few defenses. Got this. I got that now. Put those there. They're still looking for furnaces, so... Uh, furnaces are not there yet. We're still making other stuff. So you don't get any furnaces. You can go there. You can have... Uh, you don't actually need that. You can't have that. Give that back. Give it back. Did we automate? We automated pipes, right? They're over here somewhere? Yeah. That definitely isn't a logistics network request position. Uh, I never grabbed inserters because why would I? Logistics bots. Nailed it. Yeah, belts and inserters is such a bad placement. Ugh. Gross. I really hope the inserter is too slow. It is. That's great. Taking all your steel. All of your steel are belong to us. So that's good there. There's more belts. That is not in a passive provider chest right now. Uh, I don't have any actually. Wow, well, okay. Put that there. I don't think the bots are going to grab it right now because I don't think I have any room. And I do have some of these. I'm just blind. But it's not in the network. Go up here. Put these in there as well. That must be pretty close to being in the network. That's yeah, right on the edge. Over there it's pretty far, but on the other side it's right on the edge. Right on the edge. For those who are wondering how logistics ports work, or robo ports rather, um, it's actually super simple. So you place a robo port down, and then your bots start doing stuff for you. But you're like, how do you get them to do it? Well, you have the deconstruction planner and you have the upgrade planner. So deconstruction, they will rip it down for you like such. Now my bots will come and they will remove these buildings for me. They're actually emptying my pockets as well. And they're putting all the items into a storage chest. So passive provider chest gives them places to hold items. Uh, to grab items from, rather. They will never, ever, ever drop items into this chest. This passive provider chest will only ever give them items. It will never take items. So if I say, for instance, make 300 more of these underground belts, they will never, ever, 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 ever put items back into this passive provider chest. They will only ever take out underground belts. And surgers can take them out, but bots will never put them in. Or inserters can put them in, but bots will never put items in them. Storage chests, bots will just fill up with random items that they take down. It's like those buildings we just removed. The bots will come and pick those up and put stuff in them. So the storage chests right down here now have the items that they just picked up, which are now part of the network. Cool. And you're like, how do you actually have the network? Well, you build a robo port, and the robo port has this orange and green square around it. The green square is the work zone. And the orange square is the logistic zone. So logistic spots will work inside of the orange zone. And the orange zone will actually store the items as well. See this chest here is blinking. It's not actually in the orange zone, so they cannot grab from it. They can't do any logistic stuff there. But they could still take stuff apart in that area. They just can't be served from that area. So you have the work zone, which is the green zone, and then the orange zone, which is the logistics zone. And you see all these lines connecting. That means the roboports are connected. So bots from here can work over here in this area because it's part of my logistics zone. So if we click on this right here, you can see all the covered area of our factory. So anywhere that's covered in green, the bots will be able to work. So if I were to say, remove these trees, it's in the green zone, so bots will go do it. Easy. Now logistics spots are trying to take all the items out of my trash slot here and put it into the storage bins. 
which is not really good or bad. I don't really need them to do that right now. Just kind of using it as extra storage, but I did not need to do that. And that is RoboPorts 101. Got any questions, comments, queries? Feel free to throw them in the comments. That should be a crash course on bots in Factorio. Very, 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 very simple to use. I am no programmer and I'm able to make it work, so. I was definitely very intimidated by them though the first time I ever started to use them. So if you're intimidated by them, don't be. You're no, you're not alone. Us non-programmer people have to stick together. All the programmers are laughing. They're like, so easy. Look, it was scary, okay? It was the unknown. But after your first time using them, they're actually incredibly, incredibly easy to use. So do not be intimidated. Uh, where do we need to run this into now? So we actually want to hit this belt, which is super not ideal. And now we have the last science automated. We're going to run this across the whole factory. Okay. So they should be replacing those if they actually have any. So you can push L to get the logistics network and see what's actually in it. And they're not fixing this right now because they have none of those buildings. So I can just go right here, go there, and supply this item for them. Actually, I can't do it in that building because it's full. So I can go right here. And grab the furnaces, which are right... Why am I blind? Right there. And now the bots will come grab them. So it says pick up on the bottom right. Five of them are scheduled to be picked up and used. And now they're replacing the ones that died. Okay, cool. Yellow science. Ooh, that's exciting. We got yellow science. Man, you still just pick up garbage. They're very slow right now, but later on they get upgraded quite nicely and get some nice speed on them. They definitely become more useful then. Definitely not saying they're not useful right now, but not not useful. Not not useful. <clears throat> Make a few more of those. Grab some underground belts. You go here, you go there, you go, hmm. I can do this, that there, put that there instead. Just need one more red. Span right here for this. So now the bots are actually coming to upgrade it. So that goes there, and there we go. We have all the science automated, except for space science, but so that is actually super awesome. So we can start working towards the rocket now. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the, our weakest links and fix that. I'm going to assume one of them is going to be blue chips, because blue chips is uh, it's really slow, but it's really expensive as well. So we have these extra green chips right here extra. We're going to do uh, output priority. So the bottom is going to get all the items and the top will get the excess. We're going to leave a triple space on the top here. Triple space which allows uh, beacons which we don't have any yet but soon. Soon, soon, soon. It's the next big upgrade is getting beacons going. For those who've never used beacons, beacons are pretty much awesome. You're like, that's very descriptive, Yams. Very descriptive. Pretty much awesome. They can make the building surrounding it go faster. So you make the building go slower. By adding productivity modules. And then we can 
speed up the building by using beacons around it to speed it up. So you make it slower, but then you make it faster. Science. But then you get more bang for your buck because you got productivity modules making free items for you. Free feels good. I think that's a advertising slogan somewhere. I duly apologize for that. Uh, so we are going to get some radars. There's a lot of Canadians probably right now. Be like, what did you just say? Is this a commercial? No, it's not. I'm sorry, okay? It's been a long day. Actually, it really hasn't been, but... Uh, okay, let's speak in there too. I'm going to put a radar down here. So I can see what's going on. Put a laser or two over here. Laser. Armsy laser. Uh, make a tank. Because tanks. You can never go really wrong with a tank. I don't think. Probably could, but I don't think you can. Uh, we have furnaces automated as well. So I'll put that there. I got some furnaces for me. So that's good. So I can just kind of copy a bunch of this and use some furnaces if we need be. Let me go back over here, place my radar so we can see what's going on. We can start our final tech now. The sky, which pushes us into the rocket silo, which is pretty awesome. So this is looking okay here. We just don't have enough copper anymore. And I'm pretty much used the whole node. So next is probably a train for copper. The copper train. So I could, I guess, run it right here. It's really not a great spot, but... I'm going to do a little train in here. I love it when trains are kind of just very neatly tucked in the factory. So it's going to come down this way. It's going to go into here. And then our trains are going to push out this way because we kind of walled ourselves in here. And this way. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to stamp it down and make the bots build it. Just because I don't want to deal with those trees. Put you there. Grab that. I'm going to put a couple lasers here too, just because we don't really know what's going on over here. So we're going up here and down the other side. So we're going to go up into there. You to there. And it's coming down this way. So we're going to chain into the intersection. Chain into the intersection. Chain into the intersection. And a rail out. Chain into the intersection. Chain. Rail out. Chain in. I'd put a chain there, but I can't. So, rail out. Chain in. Rail out. Easy. And then we actually need the station here. This little station. The little station that could. This isn't really kind of a... Actually, we just killed some biters here, didn't we? Right down there. That's a good turret. Uh, this station is not going to be called Vegeta Poppy anymore, even though it's a great name. We will call this station Reno. Doo, doo, doo. Sorry, Vegeta Poppy. These names here are actually early backers of Factorio. In case you wondered where those names actually came from. Uh, doo, 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 doo. What's, uh, how long of a train? I'm going to do a four train there. Four train, and then we need fuel for it. Grabbing from the plastic. Actually, I don't need to grab the plastic. It's a really bad idea. Plastic is really aggressive with its coal usage. So chances are I'll run out of coal there. Is why I don't recommend pulling from that line. Pulling for the fuel here is okay. Chances are much less likely that I'll eat this all the coal here before I eat it over there. So, the train's fueled. Good, good, good. 
grab a few of these and some chests. Iron chests. Eh, not preferred, but they'll work. And we got to offload. Something like that. You go there. Uh, I will use better power lines eventually. And then you can put the power line right in the middle. But for now, you can just be like this. And I'll grab you. And then we need to make a balancer. I do not have enough belts on me to do it. And I actually don't have a balancer in the factory yet. So it's kind of annoying to make it with a ghost blueprint. So we'll build our own balancer. Build your own balancer. Build your own bear, but much more awesome. So here's something I'm actually super curious about. And I always ask this on Twitch when I'm playing. But I'm not on Twitch, so I'll ask right here. How many balancers do you make? Do you make a... If you want to balance 10 lanes out, do you make a 10 lane balancer? Or do you just make 4 lane balancers and just smash 4 lane balancers on top of 4 lane balancers on top of 4 lane balancers? Because that's what I do. So, we're going to go like this. Grab you. I'm going to go the same thing right there, right there, and right there. It's going to go like this. And what I mean by that is, I have this four lanes here, but imagine I had eight lanes. What would you do? How would you balance it? I only pretty much exclusively use this balancer. I do not use really any other balancers. If I need to balance more lanes, I'll just add more of this blueprint. And if I have to balance even more lanes, I'll just use even more. Rinse, repeat. It's pretty much just this balancer I use exclusively. How about you? What do you use? Do you get the big ones? And if you do, do you make it yourself or did you find a blueprint on the internet? Did somebody else create it for you? Because I'm not afraid to say that really big balancers are kind of crazy. Spend hours trying to make them work. They get pretty intense pretty quickly. So I'd love to go onto that line right there. So we're going to go right here. I'm going to jump over. I need to be able to loop it backwards. Can I do it? I can, just not like that. Not like this. Like this instead. There you go. Okay, so this train, if it does load eventually, in a minute, um, will unload and it will go into those lines there. So we'll have more copper. Copper will be happy, happy, happy. Uh, we need mining drills. Need some lasers. And we'll get our first train automated, hopefully, in a minute here. Grab some of you. Don't have any power lines on me. Oops. Make a few of these quickly. Oh, we're just kind of hanging out. Uh, we have those. Those are good. I have those. I have a few chests. Not enough chests. Make a few more chests here. Grab that. Seven. Uh, I think I need 16. So that's okay there. I get rid of all the science. I don't need the science on me. Rocket control unit is finished. Wow. Okay. Uh, that pushes us into the rocket. Rocket. But I'm missing this. I'm sure that'll take 30 seconds. Gonna go hop in our friend the tank here. Grab a few of these guys. Some better bullets. Will help me sleep at night. And we have a lot of drills. Maybe grab some repair packs. You can go there, you're gonna go there. I'm gonna grab this guy. We do have some rail, and we are going right over there. In our little friendly neighborhood tank. 
They're attacking me down here right now. But the bots got it. You got good supervision down there. So we're just going to veer hard to the side here. So our track is going up here, I think, right? Yeah. And then we're going here. Something like that. Don't turn it. Just go straight. Just go straight. Mm -hmm. uh, then we need to do power lines in a minute. But this is why the tank is nice for doing this. Because you do this. Just drive through where the uh, train's going to go. Uh, we'll bring it back over. And we are right there, I think. I hope we're right here. Please be right here. Next, we'll pull the power line across. If it's not, well, we'll fix it on the other side. Do, 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 do. That's if we had the big power lines. Nice, nice. Concrete's finished. Mm -hmm. The bots will not build that because they don't have any of those in the network. Ah, uh, so now we're researching the rocket silo. Nice. I have eight lasers on me. Is that enough? Uh, it should be okay, I think. Maybe, possibly, probably. Dump our signals down here. Chain, chain, rail out. Chain, chain, chain. Like that's all blue right now. Rail out. Actually looked really cool. Don't really have any trains on the track right now, so it's kind of okay to not have a lot of signals. It's nice to do it right the first time, but. First outpost is going in. Do, 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 do. So we're just clicking and holding, and it's dragging the item across for us, which is super awesome. I got these beautiful grenades here. This is a huge deposit. Okay, you go right there. Uh, I have a train station. So it's just a 1-4 train. Just gonna grab these. Right there, right there. Right there. Put my train out of the, or tank out of the way. Go right there. You can see the shadow of where the train is. Grab that. It needs to have fast inserters to load into the train. It's like a rule. Not many rules, but that's one of the rules. Uh, apparently the power is not connected. Yeah, we just somehow missed that right there. That's okay. That is a okay. We'll fix that in a second. Grab some of these. Perfect. Do, 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 do. I hear the guy running. Now run that there. Cannot reach. That there. It'd be a lot easier to do this if we have bots, but that's okay. No personal armor. Power armor yet. Soon, 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 soon. Put a laser here, laser there, laser there, laser there. I think I have a radar for this, so that's good too. Mm -hmm. 
radar so we can see. So this is a huge deposit. She is big. And this is why we play Rail World. Exactly for these things. There might be less deposits hidden around the map, but when you find one, oh, it is good. It is good. And now we have our rail, basic rail infrastructure up already too, which is awesome. So now if we need to add another rail track or a copper train, we already have a station, so pretty easy to do it. Which makes everything just kind of easier. Put this there, you go there. Something is attacking again. I can see the flashing red icon, but we're too busy. The bots have it under control, I think, hopefully. Possibly, maybe. I hope. This that goes there. Run our last power lines and finally connect it, and it should be operational, the station. Surely missing a power line somewhere, but. We used all of our mining drills, which is great. I have to check the power. It looks like I did hit. I think I hit everything. It looks okay. We have lasers in most areas. Should be okay, I hope. Possibly. The station name will be left as default names. Just the stations in the city. In the city. In the factory will be renamed. Until we get too many names. If we do get too many names, we'll start naming them back here. But for now, it'll just be the ones inside the factory that we shall rename. Now connect this and then automate the train. Do, do, do. So it's almost connected. So, uh, I could have swore I put a radar over there. We'll take the, uh, We shall take the train instead. So, this train is at Reno P. And it's going to go dash the fox as full cargo. And it's going to go empty cargo for you. Mm -hmm. so for some reason, it doesn't want to work. Ah, because this intersection right here, it actually, it can't go up this way right now. Based on how the intersection is set up. It just it literally physically cannot go up this way. Doesn't matter about signaling, it just actually can't go up. Uh so that should be good now. Should bring us to Dash the Fox. So we have a radar over here that's exploring chunks now. Our train is moving. It's a little bit slow because it only has one locomotive pulling one backwards and four wagons, but that's okay. I like having a variety of trains. Yes, we added one, we just didn't uh, power it properly. I knew something wouldn't be powered properly. Turns out it was a radar. Oops. Okay. So now this guy is filling up, which is awesome. We'll just send him out of here for a second. We got 1,000 ore on it. Uh, if we actually look at our current deposit, it only has 400,000 left. This is 24 million. 400,000, 300,000, 300,000, 400,000. So just a little bit there on that deposit. It's nice to see our first automated train. So the timer starts now from this episode. So if you guess T minus something or T plus something, it starts from this episode. When I get run over. Now the balancer should be balancing everything perfectly. Same amount coming out all sides. And that'll give us more copper. Awesome. So, as we research the rocket silo, hopefully you enjoyed this episode as we got our first automated trains on the track. Got a tank. Did nothing with it, but it's a tank. Can't go wrong with that. Got bots up and running already. And science is sciencing, which is awesome. So, until next episode, this is Yamakara. Ciao for now.